Hey guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is okay. Oh God, what is he doing here? What is doing? Mm. Aldo was standing in front of me. His fist, his fist clenched. His uh, clothes covered with blood. Mm. And Tyler was standing, was standing on his knees next to him, tied up with ropes. <laughs> he was pretty hurt. This, his face was covered, was covered with bruises and blood. What's going on here? I knew it was Tyler or the daddy. We did this for you. Mm. To get a confession. This is insane. No, it's not. He ruined your life, Blake. He made you look like a slut. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for everything. Please let me go. Sorry about what? Say it. Mm. You heard the lady. I'm sorry I shouldn't have lied. But it was Lauren's idea. Mm. What? Why? Because I cheated on you with her. Mm. Juicy, juicy. What? We wanted to be together, but everyone loved you, so we were... No, you, wait, everyone loved you. You were so popular. And we knew that everyone would ha have hated us if we had started to date each other right after I wasn't with you anymore. Lauren had this idea so we could be together and stay popular. Mm. I can't believe it. How long did you cheat on me? Bitch. Answer her question. Mm, God damn. Now those... I like all though. He's a man of... You know, getting answers, baby, for months. I wanted to have sex, but you didn't want. I'm sorry, Blake. Please let me go now. I'm not done with you. Oh, I just started to punch Tyler again. Mm, I'm on the pain, begging to stop. Please leave him alone now. What? Why? He doesn't deserve this. I don't like violence. And he's hurt enough. Please let him go now. Let him go. Mm-hmm. You talk about our little talk to anyone, and you're dead. I'll make a pleasure to finish you. Mm-hmm. He untied the ropes and, Tyler, and let Tyler go. You're welcome. Why did you do this? I never asked you to do such a thing. You can't let people ruin your life without consequences, Blake. And now thanks to me, we have Tyler's confession. Everything's been recorded. All you have to do now is have a little conversation with Lauren. And the whole truth will come out. Please don't hurt her. Oh, don't worry. I already know it won't be that won't be necessary. What do you plan to do? You'll see it in due time. In due, of course. Of course, it was supposed to be in due time, of course. Whatever. Um, We left the trailer and we spent the night together. Come, I can't believe what happened tonight. She must really like me to do such a thing. <laughs> but I'm not that kind of a person. Okay? I'm not... I don't enjoy seeing others suffer. Even if they are my worst enemies. I don't want to hurt anyone. Girl, you're... Girl. You're too soft, girl. Um, the next day, Tyler came to school. He had bruises everywhere. Damn. Everyone was wondering why. See, so he got into a fight. Mm. I want to take you out on a date Friday night. What do you think? I'd love to. Mm, meanwhile, mm, this bitch. <laughs> I'm so pretty. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's here. Mm. Are you crazy? You scared me. That wasn't my intention. 
Get straight to the point. What do you want, Joanne? I know your little secret. What are you talking about? I have nothing to hide. So you don't mind if I tell everyone what you did with Tyler? What's that supposed to mean? This means I know everything. Your boyfriend really doesn't know how to shut up. Oh. She was your friend. How could you do this to her? How could you steal her boyfriend and make her look like a slut? Whereas you're the little bitch in this story. Well, you're the bitch in this story. She was never my friend. I never liked her. She was always acted like she was a perfect girl that everyone loves. All I wanted was Tyler. Since the beginning, I didn't. I didn't regret anything. And thanks to her, she was dumped. When, and when she dumped him, I could finally be with him officially. You're a witch. Plus, it's so it, it was so easy to destroy her reputation. People are so dumb. Why are you smiling? You'll know it soon. Hmm. That night I came home, did my homework. My mother wasn't there. And John left on a business trip again. Thank God for Jesus. I'm so glad he's so busy. Yeah, anyways, I went to bed. I was thinking about him. I couldn't stop thinking about him. I had Stevie. I have Stevie. He's nice to me. But he's not the same. I sighed. Will my life ever be better one day? I doubt it. Girl, you better go. Motherfucking talk to that boy. The next day, class was so boring this morning, child. No, it was cool. Cool? I never understand people who like school. Mm -hmm. um, may I have your attention, please? I said, Joanne's voice on a loudspeaker? I think so. Meanwhile... <laughs> May I have your attention, please? <laughs> I'm here to tell you the truth about our dear friends, Lauren and Tyler. They told me the whole truth, and I'm here to reveal it to everyone. Oh, shit, bitch. The whole school was plunged into the most, was plunged in the most absolute silence, honey. What is she talking about? I'm sorry. I should never have lied. But it was, all, it, but it was Lauren's idea. I cheated on you with her. I wanted to be, we wanted to be together, but everyone loved you. So you were, uh, everyone loved you. You were so popular. And we went, we knew that everyone would have hated us if we had uh, started to date each other right after I was, was with, wasn't with you anymore. Lauren and I had this idea. Oh, wait, so Lauren had this idea so we could be together and stay popular. I wanted to have sex, but you didn't want. I'm sorry, Blake. Ugh, she was never my friend. I never liked her. She always acted like she was the perfect girl that everyone loved. All I wanted was Tyler since the beginning. I didn't regret anything. And thanks to her, when she dumped him, I could finally be with him officially. Plus, it was so easy to destroy her reputation. People are so dumb. Girl. Enjoy, my friends. Wow. Everyone was shocked. Some were looking at me. Others were looking at Tyler and Lauren. She's crazy. She could be expelled. <laughs> Uh-oh. You lied to me? Come on. Oh, it's nothing. You made me hate her, whereas she didn't do anything? Come on, who cares about her anyway? You're unbelievable. I'm done with you. Mm. Wait. I don't need you anyway. So we're all so we're all done? Oh god. You was the hoes at the party. In the woods, bitches. Of course I didn't talk about everyone. Uh oh bitch, damn. Blow shit out. Uh -huh. you're in serious trouble right now. I know. I should go. Mm, you ain't really going nowhere, child. Bitch. Oof. He already fucked up. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Seems like the girls are taking care of Lauren. Damn, Lauren getting fucked up. This is, this is an apocalypse now. <laughs> 
Mm, they deserved it. You didn't have to do that. Yes, I had to, but don't worry. It was a real pleasure. Well done, Joanne, honey. Well, thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> this is how you must treat people who hurt you. I was shocked, but also relieved. Everyone knows the truth now. Days passed. Tyler and Lauren were hated. Tyler still hit, had Stevie, but Lauren was all alone. She was in the same situation that I was before. A lot of people came to see me and told me they were sorry. I wasn't the weirdo anymore. Thanks to Joanne. Friday night, I have a date with Stevie tonight. Um, let's see what the jeans be like. Because if these are the same fucking outfits, then... Yeah, these are really the same fucking outfits. Oh, this is a cute outfit. I love this outfit. Yes. Um, okay, I'm sorry about everything. I didn't know Tyler was such a jerk. He's my friend. No matter what, I hope you understand. I understand he's your friend. I don't care if you talk to him or not. You're really the perfect girl. I'm far from perfect. You're wrong, trust me. <sighs> We had dinner. It was really great. Do you want to go to my place? I'm tired and it's getting late. I should go home. You can sleep to my place, you know. I don't want to bother you. I prefer to come home. You don't bother me at all. I'm sorry, Stevie, but I told you before I prefer to come home. Bye. I'll drive you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tonight. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Just trying to get some ass, Stevie. I don't like Stevie, bitch. I know he's upset, but I'm not ready to go to his place. I'm not ready to give him what he wants. And I honestly don't know if I ever will. Girl, you was trying to throw that thing to, uh, oh boy, ugly face. The next day. God, this house is huge. I know. So your parents aren't here? Nope, I'm all alone. Anyway, Tom is having a party tonight. Do you want to come? I'll be there, girl. Great. But I have to go now, so I'll see you tonight. Can't wait. Hours later. Joanne's point of view. Everyone is here tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone except Blake. Hmm. She, she should have been here hours ago. She told me she wanted to come. Did you talk to Blake? No, I didn't. Why? What? What? Why is that? She should be here. She did not answer my calls. Let me try. This is weird. We should go to her house and see if she's okay. Let's go. She's not here. The door is locked. It's weird. Where can she be? I know you're not going to like what I'm going to say, but maybe she's with Liam. <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, I don't know where she could be. No way. Do you have a better idea? That's what I thought. I'm calling him. Come on, pick up the phone. What do you want? Finally, you answer. Are you with Blake right now? Of course not. She doesn't want to see me, remember? Shit. Why? There's something wrong. Wait, some, is there something wrong? I can't find her. She was supposed to meet us at Tom's house, but she's never. she never did. I'm worried about her. We're at her place, but she's not here. Stay there. I'm on my way. She's not with him. He's coming. What? I don't want to see him. This is not about you. This is about Blake, bitch. Where is she? This is really weird. You get there quick like shit, though. Liam, you're here. Thank God. We have to find her. Uh, Let's search on the way. On the way to where? Blake. Blake. Maybe she's in that goddamn house. Blake. I'm pretty sure she's in that goddamn house. Blake, do you hear me? 
Oh, what the hell? I've got something. Her purse. Oh, damn. Did she get kidnapped again? It's not good at all. No, this is impossible. Wait a minute. Tyler. What does he have to do with this? He hates her. I revealed the truth about him. I also kind of tortured him to have his confession. Blake was there, too. You did what? How could you bring Blake in this? Nah. <laughs> no, that's impossible. Even if he's upset, he would never hurt her. Are you sure about that? Everyone was there at the party except Blake and him. Call him. Trust me, he's not that type of guy. Call him. Fine. I'll try again. I'm sure he'll pick up. <laughs> oh, looking a little, a little friend, looking a little suspect, baby. It's him. I'm sure of it. My God, this is all my fault. Blake never asked for this, and now she could be in trouble because of me. I would never forgive myself if something bad happens to her. Where can he be? I don't know. Use your brain. You know him better than anyone. I really don't know. Keep thinking. Maybe this place where we used to go when we were younger. It's a cabin we are used to being where we used to bring girls. Where is it? It's not far from here. It's in the forest next to this district. I'll go. You uh go back to her place in case she comes home and I'll try to call Tyler again. Oh wait, and you try to call Tyler again. Blake's point of view. I woke up in a strange place tied with ropes. My head hurt me. All I remember is that I was on my way to Tom's house and I woke black out. I lifted my eyes and I saw Tyler. Finally, you're awake. You, should have, you shouldn't have messed with me, Blake. Your friends are not here to help you with this time. And you will regret what you did to me. Tyler, please don't do anything stupid. Stupid? He came closer and took a knife out. He came next to me and started to play with it. I was really afraid. This time, it's time for the little payback, honey. I could feel the knife at my throat. He was playing with it like a psychopath. Then he, <clears throat> then he slipped the knife at my arm and cut me. I moaned in pain. I could feel my blood, the blood on my skin. See, I don't need anyone to have. Uh, I don't need anyone to have my revenge. He slapped me hard in the face, bitch. He continued to play with the knife and hurt me. He was smirking. Well, he was proud of himself. And the more I suffered, the more he was happy. Please stop, he laughed. You're so sweet, Blake. I won't kill you. Don't worry. I just want I just want what you never gave me. Never. <laughs> he laughed again before he took out a pill in his pocket. See, I don't really need your consent. He tried to force me to take the pill, but I closed my mouth as hard as I could. Don't fight, honey. You already lost the game. He laughed and twisted the knife on my leg, making me yell before he popped the pill into my mouth and forced me to swallow it. Um, what did you give? Wait, what did you give me? A little something that will make you uh, receptive. You're disgusting. That's not what you said when you were with me. I was fighting to stay awake. But I felt weaker and weaker. I felt dizzy and confused. My vision was getting worse and worse. And then I blacked out. Bitch, I don't got the time for this. Child, that came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, girl. Okay, girl. <laughs>